Hello and welcome. I am at Abentoya und Alarad, the largest off-road trade fair in the world. Wonderful place to come in the middle of June, Bad Kissingen in Germany. Now here we have got a uh, pickup on a Toyota and for something like this you're looking at a beginning price of 117,000 euros this will cost 139,000 before anybody says how come it costs so much let's try and point out some of the advantages of something like this now what the converter has done pickupback.com so you know where to look if you want one um, so they've put new wheels on they've got this paint job special type of paint I think it looks pretty good the paint job uh, that's just my opinion of course uh, they've had to change the suspension they put uh, I think it's called SB I can't remember what it's called exactly it'll be in the description if I remember to do it and if it's not then sort of uh, remind me and um, the vehicle comes with now it's, they've added the snorkel which is a fair uh, bit of cost to do that um, now looking at it from here they also said they have this idea you've got the over the overhang in the cab itself you've got a bit of space and so well how about using that to put in a, a support and uh, for additional storage makes uh, a, a lot of sense something like that now let's um, let's come towards uh, the rear and walk inside now we've got steps up and we have one of these security doors this comes from Hunakopf and something like this just the door alone you're looking at around 12,000 euros that's a one and a two and three zeros after it just the door but this one they've even upgraded the door so uh, from that now what this has which you might have missed but I'm going to show it to you again is an enormous shower where's the shower well through here we've got the toilet which is held on with a magnet so I have to use a bit of force oh it's really tough there we have the toilet right so we've got one of these um, composting toilets here which uh, comes from Berlin and well this American one the distributors in Berlin and at the top we've got these paper clips why are there paper clips up there well I've got them in my van as well although mine doesn't look so good that is so stuff can dry uh, when you come in out of the rain or something you can hang stuff up and it can dry there and here's a demonstration this wouldn't normally be here this is a wet towel which is now dry but uh, it has to be there for demonstration purposes and uh, right so uh, you may or may not want some bags there but that that gives the idea now this here is really the piece de resistance oh should before I do that I'll just show you this so yeah you got this magnet here and I'm going to just very, very slowly. Right, so there's no, that'll, uh, that, that'll close out any problems. This is the shower, and this is the clever bit. First of all, just to make the point, there's four, um, four drainage holes, and I'm always on about drainage holes, uh, because I think this is a, a thing of major importance, so that things aren't, aren't wet. Now, having the shower here, first of all, it's absolutely enormous, and no motorhome that I can think of has a shower that, well, I've sort of exaggerated a bit. There are one or two with similar sizes, but they, these are things, you know, costing hundreds of thousands of euros, uh, similar, not a tiny vehicle like this one. So, anyway, uh, the shower's there, it's in the doorway, so, uh, and it's connected via this so we have a uh, simple sort of gardening sort of solution this goes onto the uh, the tap and then you've got the shower there um, uh, this one doesn't have one but there will be a curtain going up there as well so to to protect stop the water going everywhere I have had this question put to me in the past about water going everywhere in small vehicles and the thing is this if you want the water to go everywhere then it will go everywhere but yeah i mean obviously 
this is not like being at home you have to take a bit of uh, caution and despite there being i think it's 170 liter water tank here um you know you really have to take care on how you use water i mean i'm very cautious on my use of water except when i know when i'm on a campsite or something or i've gone standing next to i don't know a fountain or whatever then i'll i'll use i'll, I'll use it as i uh, might do if i were in a house got an enormous sink here there's only one sink but um but look at that that's really domestic size huge amount of space there this thing here comes with on these awful coffee machines which are uh, and some milk i'll put that in there and i'll put it there and under there we've got the uh, induction uh, now this comes as standard with a 200 uh, ampere hour uh, lithium battery it's got a 1700 uh, watt inverter so that ought to do for uh, with with the soul of course uh, on the roof uh, that ought to do for your um you're cooking now here we have this enormous bed and this also it has uh, something which is quite unusual not unusual it's, it's it's unique i've never seen it before and this is uh, okay frovi system isn't unique because you can see that in others oh so you missed that i'll have to do it again so this sort of folds over in two parts you see that pushes that over there like that then this bit here will go up like that and oh, i'll even go further and thus to reveal the seat there and seat here so you've got the seating all the way around now under here oh that that is the support for the bed so we'll close this oh a bit tough and uh here we've got down here we've got the fridge take that out there's the fridge and this opens like that Oh, it's empty. That was bad news. I was, I was hoping it was going to be full. <laughs> so even with the bed down, down, you can still sort of get into the fridge. So you can continue drinking whilst your uh, your husband's asleep. So I'll put this thing here back. Oh, well, I know I'll do that later. And down here, we've got, they've got a storage drawer here. And notice that. Is. And here we've got. Hmm, put this at the back. We've got a storage down there as well. Oh, they've gone for this bag system here for, for additional storage and uh they could put more of them up here i mean obviously it's not it's uh, uh you could put as many as you wanted up i suppose and it's sort of soft so if you uh bang your head on it, it shouldn't hurt hurt too much and up here we've got some more storage oops sorry there now um and storage down here as well now one of the things about this is that this is designed as an uh all um obviously off-road all climate van so this will go to minus 40 and so therefore the water is protected it's insulated uh the water tank it's um uh got quite a a good electrical uh setup as as i mentioned and this is for a pickup, it's a lot of storage as well. They're probably using this for sleeping in during the uh, during the event. So what really stands out for me though in this is the amount of space that it's got. So I'm gonna leave that in a mess and tidy it up uh, once I've stopped filming. 
this here is an absolute pierce de resistance the the uh, shower oh and obviously you've got this thing here this ex table extension uh, but but look at the amount of space you could potentially have also for the kitchen here and i'll put this back in fact because it gives you a better idea i i cannot think of a single other pickup vehicle like that. even even that in a normal motorhome uh is pretty impressive but think of the small footprint that this Toyota uh, has. So, and of course the bit at the back, Toyota plus the bit at the back. So, uh, right, let's have a walk around this. I've probably forgotten something, but I can't remember what it is. What it is. So, but the, have a look at the description below. Comes with a dog. And uh, so, take you around and pickupback.com very impressive vehicle uh, so I, I quite like that one and uh, so thanks very much for watching i hope you found that of interest and uh, lots more stuff here on this channel from uh, bad kissingen in northern bavaria thanks for watching